Hi, I'm Harry Mead and we're going to talk about position for dressage and how to improve it. A really useful reference point is to concentrate on where your head is. And something I like to think of is if you're wearing a, a helmet camera, you don't want to film a video of the floor. So it automatically makes you lift your head and look to where you're going. And that in turn helps with your whole posture and also the balance for the horse. But particularly it looks after other parts of your body if you're if your upper body is open and square and your head's up. There are various other reference points you can use for the position with your upper body. One is to think that you're hanging from a piece of thread from your head, from the crown of your head. And another is to think of uh, your body being like a flagpole and your head being the flag. So the flagpole doesn't stop at your neck, but it runs up through the back of the head and then your head is in front of you but with a straight flagpole coming right up through the spine. So that creates a strong back of the neck and you don't tip forward, drop the head, which means the shoulders drop and changes the position of the hand and the position of the pelvis. There's, a, there's another reference point for the body which can help for dressage, which is to think of the front side of your body being taller than the back side of your body. That automatically opens the chest, lifts the head, lifts the eyes and allows a horse to move in a freer, more uphill way. And, and in addition to that, when you're riding a, a medium or extended trot, instead of focusing on the marker that you're going to ride to, if you can open your chest, look up and focus on an object outside the arena uh, and preferably higher up, so maybe a face in the crowd or a tree or something on the horizon and you can lift and point your body towards that and that enables a horse to really open up and move out and they don't think of uh, just travelling for a short distance and then closing up when they come into the corner. The horse really becomes much more liberal in his way of going and can open up and, uh, and use himself much more and he doesn't start backing off the arena. And it's amazing how just a thought can help that. So a, a useful tool for the hands is to think of holding a letter or a postcard under both thumbs so your hands are together instead of being wide they're close together and then just posting it through a letterbox and that keeps the hands together pushes the hands forward and it allows the horse to move underneath you